Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Chris Calabooks, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep, deep, deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking AI, the startups, and the future. Not necessarily those, and not necessarily in that order. If you watch on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on our favorite hot podcast service, please subscribe and please drop an out on Apple Podcasts. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, <clears throat> apparently, I've heard that home shopping networks are still all the rage. Home shopping networks are still... I mean, I, if you ask me, I never buy anything off home shopping networks. If I'm going to buy anything, I'm buying it off the internet. But apparently, home shopping networks are still all the rage. I mean, you know how home shopping networks work, right? You turn on, you turn on the TV, and there's this, these panels on the side, and you have hosts demonstrating products, showing how great this product is, talking about how amazing this product is. Sometimes they even have a studio audience applauding. Wow, isn't that a great product? Look at that mop go. Look at how it cleans the floor so amazingly. Apparently, this this stuff is still going on. People still watch it. And people don't watch this stuff anywhere else as much as they do in China. Apparently, there's tons of these online shopping networks, which are not actually watched on a TV, but they're watched over the internet. You can get on, I think it's on WeChat or one of these other services that you can get on, and you can watch things that look exactly like home shopping networks with hosts and people demonstrating products and talking about this product and that product and how great this is and what a sale we've, we're having and look at the look at this demonstration of this product isn't it amazing and if you act now you can get it at 50% off or 10% off or 50% off or whatever so apparently there's a huge number of these shows that are streaming live in China and you've got hosts on there, and you've got products being pitched. It's just like a regular home shopping network from the United States. There's really no difference other than the fact that it's on a internet channel as opposed to a TV channel. And apparently, these things are making money hand over fist. They're making tons and tons of money. They're extremely lucrative. Now, I'm not sure if they're extremely lucrative because if you just look at the size of the market, I mean, you take something that's a, a, a middling success here and you move it to China, it becomes a huge success because the scale is just so massive, right? It's three times the number of, of people that, that live here and there's tons of people with probably a lot more disposable income. So these types of home shopping networks and things like that, they, they, they take off and they make a lot of money. We're talking billions, trillions of dollars or yun or yen or whatever the whatever the currency is in China. But they're under threat. Because if you think about it, what you're what you're doing here is you're creating content. You've got human hosts demonstrating this stuff. You got human hosts people in the audience applauding this stuff. So you have it's a pretty heavily human driven thing, these home shopping networks, right? There's a lot of people pitching. They're pitching these products online. They're pitching them to, to you over this, this visual medium. Now, the problem is, is that these are human beings. So what happens? Well, they get tired. You know, they have to go off shift. They have to bring new people in. It's, it's a lot of work for somebody to do this kind of thing. So what's happening? Enter the AI versions of these hosts. So I'm not sure if it's happening today because obviously I'm not in China. <laughs> but I, I've heard from people who are in China that we're starting to see or they're, they're toying with using AI hosts to pitch products, to create hosts, not even digitize the hosts that are already there, but create brand new hosts and have the AI demonstrate the product, show off the product and see how the product is going. But if you ask me, I mean, if you ask me, that's basically just animation, right? And... If I were to be watching an animated version of a home shopping network, how would that possibly convince me that this product is actually real, right? You could be creating the an animated version because sure, it's not, it doesn't look like animation. It's not like a Disney animation or 2D cell D animation. It's a 3D animation, but it's so highly realistic that it actually looks like a human being with this De demonstrating this thing on online. But if you think about it, if we knew 
if if the if the first of all I don't know about you but I wouldn't buy anything from a show like that I mean I want to see the reality of a product if somebody's demoing a product to me I want to see the actual product doing its work actually doing what it's supposed to be doing and if it's a real live person demonstrating the product and showing the product's effectiveness that's one thing but if I'm seeing a 3d generated image no matter how detailed it is of a 3d product in a 3d video showing me how effective this product is that could be faked just like that now you could argue that with special effects you can fake things even in the actual demonstration which is of course true which is why I think we all have a problem with truth nowadays no one knows what's true anymore in fact we don't come to things with a mindset of truth we come to things with a mindset of false we don't think anything out there is true and it takes us a hell of a lot of work to be convinced that something is actually true now that's person that's me but would you I mean I'd love to hear your comments in the comments below would you actually be swayed by an AI pitch person demonstrating a product on a AI home shopping network would you actually buy something from an AI I mean there's AI influencers are out there right now I think little Michelina is one it's got millions of millions of followers on Instagram there's uh, I forget the name of the Japanese one but she's a vocal singer she's a an, an idol and somebody actually married her out there but yeah there's so there are all sorts of AI influencers they're all AI idols there's AI characters that are out there would you buy something that an AI character demonstrated to you or pitched to you and I'm sure people are buying representations or merch from these characters because some of them truly love the characters they just love characters but these are the same kind of people who would buy Naruto or, or any other kind of manga characters this is just yet another character they know the it's not real but would you buy a product that was pitched by an AI influencer like Michelina she can't drink that drink that she's pitching she can't use that product that she's pitching it's she's not real there's no way somebody like this could possibly if you ask me pitch a product because they've never used the product they're not a human being and this product supposedly is pitched to human beings now I'm sure that at some point and I'm not sure when it's going to happen but it should probably happen pretty soon if it's not happening already AI is not going to be pitching to us no 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 they won't be pitching to us at all in fact I've actually advocated for this the problem is AI one of the biggest problems with AI if you ask me is that it's all being it's all owned by these megacorps these companies that own AI they have their own AI right but we don't have our own AI where's our AI that fights for us against their AI on our behalf that's what we need now we need companies to spin out AI for us personalized AI that can learn everything about us our preferences and then negotiate with their AI for that product so instead of their AI pitching to me their AI should be pitching to my AI so AIs will be pitching to each other and then in the end I'll get the best product they'll get the best price we'll get the best price we need because right now we're at a disadvantage consumers are at a total disadvantage against these AI there are companies out there that are using such sophisticated algorithmic programming and AI to deliver and develop things on their side we got nothing on ours we got dumb luck we have a little bit of thinking we've got research but we are literally no match against these corporate AIs that we're going up against so if you ask me if you're thinking about setting up an, a new AI startup something building AIs for the people the fight on our side is the way to go so will you buy from an AI influencer will you buy from an AI shopping network where the entire demonstration of this product is generated by AI would you buy that I know I wouldn't that's it for me for today see you next time and until then don't forget to think future mm -hmm.